Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great with Good Enough Minecraft Inventions, the series where I showcase inventions in Minecraft that are not necessarily the most efficient nor the most compact, but are good enough for a single player map or a small multiplayer server. Today I'm going to be showcasing this automatic minecart loading station. Now a number of existing minecart loading station designs will use the minecart as a buffer and as soon as a certain percentage of items get into the minecart, then it will get sent on to its ultimate destination. This means that the system could have fully emptied the input chest, but the minecart has not reached its buffer limit and so it will stay in the station. Now this property might be perfectly fine for you if you have your minecart station attached to an automatic farm that is producing the same item over and over and over again. But I'm going to show you an application a little later in the video where this property becomes a downside. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the redstone. Now items flow from the input chest into a waiting minecart, either storage or hopper, that is sitting between an inclined regular rail and a detector rail. As soon as we detect an item in the minecart, we take a signal, put it into a rising edge detector that we then use to pulse and start a comparator decay clock. While the comparator decay clock is on, this redstone torch will be depowered. As soon as the clock times out, the torch will turn back on, triggering another rising edge detector that we then use to pulse open a piston operated gate. Now because the minecart is sitting slightly inclined on that rail, as soon as the gate opens, it should have enough momentum to scoot past before the gate closes again, going on to its ultimate destination where you hopefully remove all the items and then send the minecart back to rinse and repeat until all items have left the input chest. Just a note on a potential downside to this system, if the endpoint that you're sending the items to gets full and doesn't fully empty the minecart, then this minecart is going to continue running until that happens. So plan accordingly. Now for demonstration purposes, I have attached Impulse SV's automatic minecart unloading station. If you'd like to see that in more detail, feel free to take a look at the link that I've left to his tutorial in the description box below, but that's not the application I had in mind. Instead, I wanted an industrial smelter design that allowed the player easy access to the array of furnaces for XP, but also left them easy access to the input and output chest without having to climb or stretch pretty far. Now, you can agree with me, if we are to put in a stack of iron ore, we should expect to get a stack of iron ingots out on the output. And most of the minecart loading stations did not do that. And you can see why we would want to make sure all items that got into the smeltables and possibly the fuel would get into the furnaces. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, an industrial furnace concept and an automatic minecart loading station. If you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, feel free to grab the world download from the link in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this Minecraft invention good enough. Bye-bye. <laughs>